Hello, I'm James George, and this is Web Design Blog. This week, I'm going to talk about exporting your Illustrator files to uh, a Swift file in AI, and how you can actually uh, change the settings to where that does other things as well. And so, uh, a lot of people don't know that this menu exists, but it's really handy, especially if you have multiple layers. Of different so like if you create different uh, objects or icons or something like that on different layers in Adobe Illustrator it can that could be to your advantage because you can automatically do um, a bunch of tasks at one time so from here you have your your icon and maybe you have multiple layers of icons let's just say for example's sake and you know if you want we can We can duplicate it just 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 to say that we have multiple layers of icons and let's say you want to ex export those so from here you're going to go to edit and you're going to go to SWF presets so edit SWF presets this menu is going to come up and you have the default uh, which is AI to, AI to Swift, but you can also add more. And from here, you can export as, and instead of AI to Swift file, you can say AI layers to Swift frames, AI, la uh, AI layers to Swift files, or AI layers to uh, Swift symbols. This is really handy if you use Flash, like for games and stuff. I know that I know that Swift files aren't normally used for the web anymore and integrating into your website. I understand that. That's fine. But a lot of uh, game designers use Swift and uh, symbols and things like that to uh, create their Flash games. And so from here, you can select this and add it as a preset. And then you can um, say use unused symbols, use, uh, you know, compress file. You can do all kinds of stuff here. Include metadata, curve quality. You know, you want to increase that. You want it to be uh, look as good as possible. But remember, the more information you include, of course, the larger the file is going to be. And you can say, you can specify the background color. And from here, you hit done. And so now you have default copy. And um, you can edit that and actually change the name. You could say AI layers to symbols. And you're done. And you click OK. And so there it is. It's that simple. And you can change the way that Illustrator behaves and export your Illustrator files. And so if you have 50 layers, it can do this automatically, and all of them will be exported as symbols, which you can bring into your Flash documents. That's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Web Design Blog.